it's definitely actually not a sword fighter. He's, he's given actually, that information. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he still has a sword, and the sword is still useful. Like his range can be extremely good at times, especially with a couple of how fast he is. If he's ever killing you, it's not because he hit you with the sword. <laughs> I mean, man, that's just not how you fight with a sword. It's you're really, suppo you're it, supposed it's to be a ranger. Marth yeah. makes more yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. You get more momentum. Well, we've got Kaze and Isman sitting down. I'm amazed that this is one pool, because both For of sure. these are scary pool. incredibly talented players. Yep, Isman, one of the better players coming from Houston, rocking the Wario and the Falco. Mm -hmm. Kaze, is, he, is Kaze still straight in center? No, he uh, was playing Ken earlier. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you know, he was uh, Ryu back in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. uh, extremely successful. But, uh, you know, Ken at the start of the game, not a lot of people believed in him. Yeah. One of our one of our local Shoto players, N, did believe in him and <laughs> was playing him the whole time, so he was really ahead of the curve when Ken got those buffs. For sure. Um, but, you know, Kaze didn't totally not have faith in the character, but he was, you know, straight up in Sinor at the beginning of the game, and... Now that he plays Ken, he plays two of the funniest characters in this game. Two of the most <laughs> heavy hitting characters, that's for sure. I mean, they will they will both kill you very, very early. But uh, yeah, opting for the Ken going up against Isman's Wario. Uh, Wario, or sorry, not Wario. Uh, Isman also has a Falco on top of the Wario, but uh, I would imagine that he's mostly been starting all of his matches with the Wario unless he has prior intel as to why he shouldn't. Right, yeah. I imagine Wario has a better matchup spread than Falco in general, um, so I expect to see, like, Wario is the default for sure. Mm. And, and at the very least, you know, Wario is a little bit more adaptable. Falco is, like, pretty much all combo game. For sure. Um, you know, at least at, at least at like the uh, the mid to high level. You know, Wario, you can see that he can he can take on a lot of game plans, especially if he starts getting Kaze up to those like 120, 130s and he can't quite find the kill, and he needs to run away because he's afraid of a Shoto with rage, which he should be, uh, as Kaze may demonstrate soon. Mm -hmm. He can start using that amazing aerial drift and just how quickly he can go back and forth and change his direction to uh, kind of avoid the problems. I haven't seen Kaze go for a single heavy Shoryu yet. I mean, yeah, that, that was the, the classic Brawl Wario. Well, Brawl Wario wasn't great at approaching you, so instead he used his uh, mobility for evil and just ran from you the entire time. <laughs> uh, this Wario, while this Wario definitely has capabilities of being aggressive, like his nares are ridiculously good. It has two really long hitboxes. Yeah, he still has that mobility. He can still keep away from you if he wants to. Oh, excellent, okay. Tatsu! Not, I don't think anybody would have expected it. I would have gotten hit by that. Mm -hmm. I think most people just kind of expect if a, you know, a Shoto player will avoid Tatsuing at any sort of juncture that they can because it's so punishable, but if he can straight up grab the ledge with it, why not? Ooh, oh, big, big commit. Big punish on that bite. Pretty good option whenever the player wants to play. And that's what the percent layer would have killed too, but mm -hmm. mopping it up with a down tilt dash tech. And that, and that bite at ledge too, that beats everything except for the roll in. And normally you can uh, try to react to that best you can, but I mean, can get some of his moves out real quick. Oh. Real quick, 47% here from Ismo. I mean, he's got Kaze at kill percent given that waft that he's got. Yep, yep. Very, gonna be very scary of up tilt some Wario now, but. Custom combos. <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just throw all that together. Why not? Ken, uh, Ken puts it on, man. Ken puts it on real quick. Oh, yeah, oh, there's oh, the kill. Oh, 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 I yep. mean, Ken had some of these capabilities to, to do these combos before. It was just a matter of how he was going to finish it. Now that that Shoryu. You know, still with those multiple hits, still sweet spot the entire way through. Uh, you know, uh, that becomes much more dangerous, that combo game. <laughs> definitely, yeah. And that's, uh, that's a very scary thing. It was definitely dangerous before, too. Oh, see that hard jab, that proximity jab, doing 13%. It's so much. Oh. oh, but the it's, that's the scary thing about down tilt dash attack is that you don't really have time to confirm it as the Wario player, so you just kind of like get a YOLO dash attack afterwards mm. and hope that the down tilt hit. And honestly, that that whole situation was great for Kaze to do that, uh, you know, air dodge back into the corner, leave himself safe. Not safe on that Tatsu though, going high because he thought that maybe Ismon was going low again. Maybe, yeah. And again, that's again one of the boons of having that amazing quick turnaround on the aerial movement where he can fake that and then just go right back onto the stage. Yep, very hard to see where he actually wants to be. Wario is the character that I feel like would best translate to playing with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> you go, well, I want him to be here and now here. Like I, MOBA quick to move sort of stuff. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> hey, double using that bike. 
I also really, really like how Isman is just standing around next to this platform and waiting for Kaze to approach, because when he's back behind that platform, it's really hard for Kaze to approach with any aerials. Mm -hmm. And the scary part is if you chase too far into the corner, like bad things can definitely happen. Like getting thrown off stage. And even if like you try to scramble and you don't manage to lock down your opponent, like they can just slip on, into center stage. Now they have center stage control and you don't. Oh, Ooh. is that gonna be it? Yes, yes it, it will. Is. I mean, that proximity jab doing 13 or 14%, it's one of those two. I mean, it just puts on so much. And then he's able to close it out with that Shoryu because it's such a reliable kill option. Yeah, he hit him like, he, he, he did like three or four combos there, <laughs> that last stock. And yeah. then just uh, the fourth one just kills. Ken's crazy, dude. That proximity jab just really doesn't send you anywhere and it does so much damage. And you go, I was at 50, but now I'm dead. <laughs> like, I wasn't ready to be dead. So quick. Yeah, the interesting thing to note is that Wario can definitely do that too with Waft. And we saw Isman looking for some of the up tilts to go into it. But Kaze just was never in a situation where he could get hit by a, with the up tilt from Wario. Well, and that, and that was, of course, by design. You know, for Isman sure. was staying underneath those PS2 platforms to, you know, limit Kaze's approach options. And anything that he would do, uh, you know, necessarily on a commit would be uh, so much so that if he misses, it's a huge commit and he probably dies to Waft. And that's why the game ended up slowing down there. You see that a lot against the warrior where uh oh he's got waft and he stops approaching because he goes if you mess up then you die and i don't need to force anything and yeah. the other person realizes that and they go well how about i don't approach you i feel like it's like a, a sort of a, a rage mode from the bosses and mmos <laughs> where like okay the fight has gone long long enough and now i switch to my extra phase where i play safe and then kill you if you ever mess up yeah can you play safe enough <laughs> and then the numbers check happens <laughs> man there, there are a couple of games I'd like to give a shout out to right now. <laughs> PSO2, man, if y'all have ever played Remnants of Other Worlds in that game, oh boy. Ooh, Ismon, yeah, getting caught in that deep, deep part of that combo. Oh, the raw show you from the corner. <laughs> Kaze, Kaze will do it, man. It's it's not quite like N. Kaze is a much safer uh, Ken player than than uh, N is the uh, the other local Ken, where he will not usually opt for uh, the raw Shoryu's or the random Tatsu's in neutral. And I think against Wario, that's uh, extra good because of just how hard Wario can punish you. Mm -hmm. How hard he can punish you, and also how hard he can weave. Like, I'm sure there's lots of situations where Wario could like could poke forward with an F, uh, like a forward air that looks like it's up yet a shieldable, and then he just like weaves oh. out. <laughs> Half waft. Oh, plenty to finish that stock. Damn, dude. But yeah, I mean, I mean, you're you're making a good point there. Where you know, if if Wario has all of that movement, uh, you know, not only does he have the ability to punish you so hard for uh, committing to something random like a random Tatsu in the middle of the stage, you're also more likely to whiff it because he can react and get away from it. Ooh, that's going to be not a dead Kaze. He's able to make it back. Game two may be looking a little dead for Kaze though. Yeah, this is looking pretty dominating for Ismo. Uh, I'm, I'm a little surprised by that, given that it's a, it's such a small stage. I guess it would have to do more with the the platform layout than anything, where now he's uh, really limiting the, the combo and approach areas for Kaze. Yeah, and actually finishing that for that second stuck off with the, the half walk, like you mentioned, it was pretty, pretty big. The, um, Kaze, you know, he managed to live. He, the, the first game was pretty slow paced, and Kaze lived for, for a relatively long time. And everyone was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's just kill him instead. I think that's that's Yeah. <laughs> Definitely uh, hitting the accelerator. I'd I'd really like to get. I can't wait for the day that we have like advanced stats oh, in Smash that's gonna be great. because I want to be able to look at this in the same way that we look at like pitchers in baseball, where yeah. we go, we can see how effective they are at getting it out with two strikes. Yeah, and that translates, I feel like, pretty well over to. Uh, you know, that or that usually translates pretty well to their actual effectiveness as a pitcher, is mm. how good are they with two strikes. And I feel like that is the same kind of logic that goes to a Wario that I want to see, which is what is the percentage of a Wario missing their waft to them For winning sure. a game? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure those numbers are very closely correlated. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, going to pull out the Incineroar from Kaze. Maybe, uh, maybe hope for a little bit of match bin experience here. Probably. Uh, the, the reason I'm so afraid of seeing this from Kaze uh, as an Incineroar player myself is I have seen that Ismon is really, really good at playing a non-committal Wario. He knows his frame data really well. And if you can stop an Incineroar from approaching, he's not getting in. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's interesting. He's like, he has good buttons and his buttons are pretty safe on block, but like his movement speed is uh, heavy, heavy grappler. His movement speed really, really bad. Um, it is the worst in the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like, it's an interesting case of like, if, if you can get relatively close to you, you can get buttons down. But, you know, if you're, oh, if you're slippery enough, that can be tricky for him. Yeah. And this one's been playing really slippery, but, you know, it'll be, it'll be, I think the onus is now on him not to make those whiffs rather than it is on Kaze. Mm -hmm. uh, because Kaze is really just not going to approach as much as Ispan yeah. <laughs> will. Yeah, he's just not able to do with the character. But those counter hits, mm -hmm. definitely, uh, I would say that's a trade in Cinderella's favor, honestly. He's a yes. very heavy character and just like turning things into scrambles like that is exactly what's, what he wants to do. Uh, side B going to be a prevalent threat. You would think Side B is not really that great, oh! and you'd be really wrong. <laughs> side B, like, low-key Side B is actually pretty hard to dodge because of the fact that it's active for so long. It's very active, it has armor, and it goes a pretty decent distance. Yep. Oh my gosh, that dash attack. Give him the knee, the drop. And one of the best whiff punishes the character has drives forward super far with that knee. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the sour spot with as much uh, revenge as he got from countering yeah. that motorcycle, <laughs> yeah, which so much gives revenge. you a lot. Yeah. That is a very damaging move. Man, was very red. Oh, man. Kaze, I feel like if Kaze committed a little bit less after he put Ismon there in the corner and waited for his landing, he probably could have gotten a little, uh, like, a bigger punish. Because I feel like that Alolan Whip in the corner at 70, it's not quite going to kill Wario. He's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. Boy, is it going to come close. And it's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. <laughs> oh, my God. Watch the forward smash. All right, excellent recovery. Yep, does weave around that bike. As long as you go low with Incineroar, you will usually be fine. Back throw not quite going to do it because, again, Wario's heavy, but right at the ledge, that's the scary zone for it, man. Ooh, oh, early. Oh, wow. And that, the, the bike actually didn't hit him that time. It was a little bit misspaced on the counter. Mm -hmm. If, if Ismam was a little bit closer, that timing would have been right, but, you know, it's a, it's a very strange arc that Wario throws it in. For sure. Definitely not a peach turnip or anything. Oh, Speaking damage. of peachy, here's a peachy clean. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, that's scary. That's uh, Kaze can hit him with anything, oh. and he's going to hit him with the big boy! 66%! Yikes. No, sorry, 76%. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love this character. This character's insane. Dude, Kaze is, uh, Kaze's got the entire venue on his side right now. Anyone who can't actually watch the actual screen they're playing on is watching the other screen <laughs> outside <laughs> that has the replay showing. It's either you're literally standing right behind these players or you're looking up to the to the general west direction. But man, Ismon taking up to this platform, he's like, Kaze, please approach me, please mess up. <laughs> and he's like, nah, I don't think so. That sounds like a bad idea. I think I'm just gonna gonna walk at you. All right, I like I like the uh, the high Alolan whip on the recovery there from Kaze though, uh, because he saw that Isman was not already off stage, ready to go. Wow. Mm. Okay, he's dead. He may have tried to do that uh, that Alolan whip too early to recover. Maybe, yeah. A nice interception on the bike. Ooh, get that bike out of here, man. Back air to put him off stage. Kaze has been ledge trapping pretty good right now, and he tries to call out the jump from ledge. That is my favorite thing to do with Incineroar. Ooh, Isman may have half off. That could be it. If he gets another one of those setups, he could actually definitely take this. That that throw range is insane. Yeah, that's wow, Incineroar really nice. was strong. <laughs> oh, he gets the grab. That's so much damage. <laughs> he takes out the bike to boot. <laughs> oh, Kaze tried to hit him from that down tilt into the forwarder, but he didn't react to the DI that Ismon had and the percents too. Man, coming very down scary. the last hit to make it out of pools. Very scary. Oh, with and the half wafts. Yep, finally found the up tilt to finish that off. <laughs> Clean play from Ismon. That was scary. Like, that was that was the Kaze lead the entire game. Like, a pretty significant lead, too. And not only that, the mentally taxing right. <laughs> that, you, that you go through having this Incineroar that will be able to yeah. do anywhere from 40 to 77%. Yeah, like, like real, realistically, at that point in time, the damage doesn't even matter. <laughs> like, you're just dead <laughs> if it hits you. 